Hello, and welcome back, everyone, to 2KCW. This is our final show of 2K19 for the 2KCW brand. Tomorrow is the final episode of Strike Zone before 2K22. Kicking things off here, Ethan Palmer will be going up face to face with Kendrick Gore. And our main event tonight is a triple threat match for the women's championship. It's going to be an elimination match. Jenna Jordan and a returning Dizzy Jet will get a shot at Tia Green and the women's title in our main event. We got two titles on the line this weekend to close out 2K19. Obviously, the women's championship here, and then the RCW tag team titles will be up for grabs tomorrow. The Motor City Machine Guns taking on the Colognes for the tag team titles. Kendrick Gore defeated Barry Allen last week on 2KCW. And he says he's going to roll through the roster. To get to Devin Andrews and the heavyweight title. We'll have to see what's in store for Kendrick Gore when it comes to 2K22. Any other new faces that we will definitely see. Once the game comes out. I don't think that Kendrick Gore is going to have much of an issue when it comes to defeating the competition. Here we go, opening contest. Palmer and Gore, Colin Elbow tie up, side headlock by Palmer. Into the headlock takeover. You can see the distinct height advantage that Kendrick Gore has. Running knee. Coming up empty. And he caught the right leg of Palmer and then to the Tilt -a World DDT. Slam there from Ethan Palmer. And a running knee. Knee to the face like a single leg code breaker of sorts. Into the corner yet again. That time the double knees. Well, that time it connected for uh, Palmer. Never seen Kendrick Gore like this before that he's just being taken to by Ethan Palmer falling into the cover no legs hooked that was a dire mistake for Ethan Palmer did he not even have a leg hooked and think you're gonna put away Kendrick Gore like that you are sadly mistaken his doors just teeing off there's the running knee that Gore is just teeing off on Palmer Palmer able to find a little bit of an opening. Slice bread. Slice bread out of nowhere. Kick out. Hammerlock DDT. From Ethan Palmer taking down Gore. Swing neck breaker. And now a seated abdominal stretch. Applied by Palmer. You can hear the crowd 
Showing their disdain for Ethan Palmer's gore. Able to get back up onto his feet. And the hip toss. And now Gore able to take advantage. For a knee bar here on Palmer. Palmer's got nowhere to go. He has the leg strength to roll him over. To release the pressure a bit. There the running knees connect that time for Gore. And Gore with a thrust kick to the abdomen. Spinning back kick. Into a bit of a Moshinoku driver variant by Palmer. And an Olympic slam from Kendrick Gore. Gore now finding his groove. Series of lariats into the flapjack. Rolling clothesline, nearly decapitating Ethan Palmer into the cover. Palmer barely surviving, getting that left shoulder up. Palmer able to sweep the leg Going for a low super kick. Underneath the chin of Kendrick Gore. Into the cover now. And kick out by Gore. Palmer so close to possibly knocking him off and winning probably the biggest match of his career. Going for the better than you. That slice right out of the corner. Better than you. Both legs hooked. Kick out by Gore. Gore kicks out of the better than you. Obviously, that's not the case here. If you're facing off against Kendrick Gore. Series of shoulder tackles. Into a diving double axe handle from Ethan Palmer. Kendrick Gore is in dire straits here, folks. There's a suplex. Now Gore going for a bit of a combination there. Take down Palmer. And there's the sword of discord. From Kendrick Gore into the cover. And Gore picks up the win here in our opening match. The sword of discord claims yet another victim in Gore's quest to become the champion. There was the grim downfall. That discus clothesline. I don't want to say that this was a, I don't know, the, the most vulnerable that we've seen Kendrick Gore so far, but I mean, he's obviously really met his match here against Ethan Palmer, but he's still able to get the victory nonetheless. But Kendrick Gore, 2-0, you're in 2KCW. Keeping the count, adding one more to the list. As we move on, folks, to tag team action. We got Smooth as Silk coming out here. They previously defeated the current champions. The Elements, Frostbite, and Heatstroke. 
here on 2KCW, but they're going to be facing off against a team that's been picking up wins over on Ascend, the Red River Connection. Red River Connection is currently 2-0. Smooth as Silk are sitting at 1-1. One one. But that win comes at the expense of the Tag Team Champions. And making their mark again over on Ascend, which you can check out on Sundays right here on the channel. Actually, it'll be two days after this airs traditionally. But again, just a small programming note that we will be taking a couple of weeks off for 2K22's release to move everything over. Recreate some stuff and allow people to get new talent made and signed possibly by 2KCW. And Dynamite Curtis squaring off against Keith Mayfield. Going for a belly to belly suplex. That was a that was a good effort by Dynamite. Red River Connection running neck breaker by Keith Mayfield all over Smooth as Silk. And the referee taken out inadvertently by Dynamite Curtis. Tag still made. I don't I don't know if you can even really call that a legal tag. If the referee was taken down, but the ref's gonna allow it, I guess. Jawbreaker there by Isaac York. And Buck just trying to get a cheap shot in on Isaac and just missed it. Running clothesline by York. A softball punch. And you can see that Keith was just trying to even fend off while well, he's up against the ropes there. Fight for all that he's worth. Tag made. Here comes Buck McCoy. And Dynamite's dealing with the referee. And Buck with a double axe handle to the back of Isaac York. Uh, going into the Gator roll. We saw them use that maneuver against the Sea Batteries last week on Ascend. Arm face or arm trap cross face of sorts. Snapmare counter by Isaac. Now Buck into Silk's corner. Series of outside right kicks by Isaac York. Take it down, Buck, yet yeah, again. punch there got one for Keith and got one for Buck front chancery into the single leg takedown by Isaac Isaac going for a little bit of a figure four. We're focusing more on the bit of a heel hook of sorts. Looks like on Buck. Buck able to fight out of it. I mean, the heel hook is a very dangerous submission when you're applying it onto your opponent. You can easily mess up all the tendons in the heel and cause serious damage. Cover here by Isaac off the drop kick. Keith making the save. And he takes down Dynamite in the process. Oh. 
Isaac York possibly looking for the exclamation point DDT but Buck able to counter up on the shoulders into the backbreaker into the cover on Isaac kick out at one Buck makes a tag to Keith. Now isolating the left leg of Isaac York. Running shoulder tackle by Isaac, taking down Mayfield. Now into Silk's corner, yet another clothesline. Mayfield may have seen that softball punch incoming. Suplex there, countered. Now Isaac in the wrong part of town, wrong side of the ring. Tag made. A big clothesline assist. Big clothesline and assist from Keith the Buck. Isaac still fighting. Oh, Buck with a back elbow counter. Wonder he didn't break Isaac's nose. Off that elbow. Another tag made. This is what you like to see between the tag team. Frequent tags in and out. Double hip toss and kicks to the front and back of Isaac. Isaac's been in the match for quite a while. Needs to make a tag to Dynamite. If that were my suggestion anyway. Single leg drop kick from Isaac. Keeping control of the wrist. Taking down Isaac. Now Isaac with a reverse atomic drop. And Mayfield. Wrist lock, clothesline. Every time it looks like that Keith may be going for that power bomb. Isaac been able to counter it into the takedown. And Keith trying to make crawls way over to tag in Buck, but that wasn't gonna happen. Another back elbow. Somebody ought to check on Isaac after this match is over. Make sure he doesn't, again, have a broken nose or something. It keeps getting caught over and over. Back elbows to the face. Close line from Keith. The tag. Here comes Dynamite. It looked like Keith may have been going for a tag to get in Buck. Shoots to the half, no legs hooked from Dynamite. Kick out by Keith. Dynamite running Bulldog. Running Bulldog to Keith Mayfield. Is that going to be enough? And it is. Smooth as Silk has defeated the Red River Connection. Off a running bulldog. In terms of match time, that match mostly belonged to the Red River Connection, but the smoothest silver are still able to come out of this with a W. The smoothest silk still arguably probably at the top of the power rankings in terms of the tag team division here that they would be earning themselves a future shot at the elements for the tag team titles. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next our main event, Women's Championship. Don't go anywhere. Well, we haven't had that music in quite some time. Dizzy Jet, the former inaugural women's champion. 
Lost her title to Tia Green at Feel the Bang. She's looking to get back the women's championship in this elimination triple threat match. a great champion she went undefeated in 2021 obviously 2022 was not a great start for her again losing the title and her undefeated streak coming to an end here comes Jenna Jordan Jordan has been making her way so far in the 2022 season. Jenna Jordan is always a pleasure to have around when she comes to town for 2KCW. women are waiting on the champion the women's champion Tia Green not a great opportunity I'll be honest for her first title defense has to be in a triple threat match but that would raise her stock definitely if she can knock off both opponents and retain her championship. Without really doing the cliche mathematical odds and doing an infamous promo that Tia Green has a 33 and a third chance of retaining her championship here. But maybe she can pull it off and retain the women's championship of 2KCW. The referee putting the title up high. All three women ready for this match. Again, it is elimination style, so breaking up the pinfalls or submissions are not required. Close line by Dizzy. And now Jordan Mega Wish. The Mega Wish immediately to Dizzy Jet. Wait a minute. And Dizzy's been eliminated. What the? Wait. Wait. The close line by. The close line by Dizzy Jet to Tia Green and Jenna Jordan's the new champion. What the hell? Dizzy Jet hit. Whoa. Hit her with the grunge. Tatia Green. And Jenna hits the make a wish on Dizzy and then goes into the cover on Tia. And somebody got to get a, a, a time on that match. My God. I, I, I'm just. Wait a minute. I'm just still in shock. Jenna Jordan. Jenna Jordan is the new women's champion in record time. Wow. Well, congrats to Jenna Jordan. We'll see you next time.